this deal here goes in the too good to be true category as I'm about to go and pick up a 2021 wood that's half the price that your pro shop could even get it at trade. And normally I would say to you guys, don't bother with this. Hi India, I was hoping I'd be able to verify my new Ping G425 hybrid I've got if I just gave you a serial number, is that all right? Guys, how you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. Simon, just outside of Bristol, just about an hour away from my house to go and pick up a G425 hybrid for 80 pounds with only one photo to go from and very little description uh, and it's on Facebook Marketplace, therefore, anything can happen but we're here it's intrigued me and normally i would say to you guys don't bother with this because it's normally too good to be true but the fact i'm turning up i can see it in person i mean obviously if it's postage only then alarm bells but i thought if it's a fake one then again very interesting video i thought i can't have two fake golf clubs in two videos surely my luck can't be that bad but let's go and pick it up let's go and see what it looks like and as i say i've never seen a ping g425 in the flesh or in my hands but normally you can kind of tell ish but i don't think i'm gonna be certain it has got an arcos grip in the top of it which makes me believe that actually it will be real because again fake counterfeit arcos grips aren't really a thing and it's got the normal shaft in it and hopefully it's got a serial number on the side of it that looks somewhat like a ping serial number anyway if you like this video leave it a like subscribe if you're new let's go and find out if this is an outrageous deal right ladies and gents we have acquired the ping at g425 hybrid with a ts tightless grip on it 70 gram regular effect shaft it looks legit from this side there's no question about it as i say i've never actually had the chance of seeing a ping g425 in the flesh again serial number looks normal in terms of serial numbers on ping clubs it looks the business the weight is actually detachable on the back there not just something stuck on the face again looks like a ping face head looks a bit bland i mean i actually didn't realize how bland the g425 heads look like yeah anyway each to their own i do feel we have scored an outrageous purchase that being said it's still 80 quid for a hybrid. I mean, these things are only a good deal because obviously they're going for like 160, 170 pounds pre-owned, 210 pounds brand new. I mean, how much do you need from a hybrid? I mean, hybrids are there to help the golfer that doesn't necessarily hit the ball as well, needs that forgiveness and help. And you want to spend 200 pounds on one of them? I mean, potentially the person that's going to have this is going to have two of them in the bag, then a wood and then a driver. So you're talking about a thousand pounds just on wood so yes it's a good deal because obviously loads of people would want this but why i mean i could probably name five hybrids on the market now for 80 pounds or less that are just as good as this thing and the fact you guys or not you guys but people are paying 170 for a club that they maybe haven't even hit or touched or tried maybe they've been club fitted for it but surely if you're club fitted for it and you're spending 170 on a pre-owned one you might as well just go and get the one that you got feared for for 210 it's brand new with warranty anyway my thoughts it's a good deal it's a good looking club for 80 pounds there's no question about that but mm, mixed feelings and it's the next day we have the ping g425 hybrid in hand we're going to go to the range we're going to go and hit it and um after yesterday's video which you might have seen on the i20s i think i was a bit skeptical yesterday when i picked this up in the afternoon thinking that everything now that i'm going to be buying is fake but there was a few interesting developments a few of you left some very interesting comments ray the comment that you put very interesting so i'm obviously going to delve deeper into that to the potential that that forearm might not be fake just a different variant which um i never knew about and i've been in this game for 10 odd years so i'm gonna do a bit of research i'm not gonna put anything more out there because i don't want to embarrass myself twice um uh, therefore i'm gonna do a bit of research find out exactly what's going on with that club but golf clubs are very difficult to counterfeit. That being said, I think I should probably show you the process and how easy it is and how fantastic, by the way, Ping is as a company. Not only from a retailer, but as a consumer as well. Like, Ping is the easiest company to work with because obviously I've worked in pro shops for 10 odd years. So easy to work with in terms of um, uh, 
customer service and I'm just going to show you the process. So we're going to ring ping now. I'm going to read out the serial number on here and I want them to verify what club I have my, if, what club I have in my hand. I'm going to say it's a ping G425 but I won't say what club it is and hopefully the person on the other end will tell me exactly what it is on the other Hi there, I was just wondering if I could just verify one of my clubs that I've got, a Ping G425, if I gave you a serial number. Yeah, it's got two sales, thank you. Thank you. Hi India, I was hoping I'd be able to verify my new Ping G425 hybrid I've got, if I just gave you a serial number, is that alright? Uh, yeah, of course, that's a serial number. It's 271. Yeah. 309. Yeah. HW. I was just checking, I've just got recently this PNG425, I was just checking that the serial number matched up with what it was. Yeah, um, G425, 22 degree hybrid there. Perfect, brilliant. Thank you ever so much for your help. No worries, thank you. Cheers, bye bye. Here we have it ladies and gents, I've got an outrageous deal on this club, but is it worth £170 second hand? I'd be more persuaded to tell you guys go and buy this brand new at 219 and get it fitted for them buy it second hand and 170 and i haven't even hit it it's not gonna there's not this thing would have to do outrageous things for me to tell you to go and buy one at 170 pre-owned 80 pounds i think it's a good number if you look at the g400 g410 range they're going the rescues are going for like 90 to 100 pounds 110 pounds so if you got one of these g425s i think at the 130 pound mark I'd say that's good because you'll probably lose 40 quid of, on that over the next two years, which I think is not a bad um, upgrade or let's say the value over the next two years. But it's still new, it's still shiny and it cost me £80. So let's go and hit it and um, uh, get my thoughts. Right, stopping there before I do any more damage to my outrageous deal. It feels good, it feels great. Again, G410, G400, even G series. I wouldn't be able to tell you the slightest bit of difference. If I can get hold of a four hybrid in either like a G series, G30, maybe older, um, uh, in the same spec as this, then I'll definitely do a numbers test. Um, uh, but I am going to get back into, I mean, again, okay, pathetic numbers for where we were a year or so ago. But now the two kids are sleeping through and I've got a bit more time. I am training again for long drive. How much I'll put that into the channel, don't know, because it's very slow and boring progress, but I do love it. And I have seen that there have been uh, missiles flying about as competitions are slowly coming back now that restrictions are pretty much lifted. So in the background, I'm gonna be doing more of this stuff. Hopefully you see my numbers increase, distance increase, swing gets better, and obviously ball speed get higher as we go on. But overall, great deal. I got lucky. If you like this video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Catch you guys there. Morning Tom, hope you're doing well. Good afternoon mate, well done on the lesson and... Evening Alan, not a problem at all and... Testing the G30s and the... Good afternoon gents, on my way to the lock up. Go go pick up the mirror on. 